What's up guys, Rob from Legit Bunnies Gaming here bringing you another video and uh, this time we're doing another one of these nostalgia old game videos uh, that I've done in the past. I've done, um, you know, Hot Wheels Stunt Track Driver, Hot Wheels Jets, uh, Rescue Heroes, Hurricane Havoc, um, Buzzy the Knowledge Bug Airport, and now we're doing Richard Scary's Busy Town. A uh, couple of things, I know I haven't really been uploading as much uh, like let's play type content on the channel um i tried to do two different videos today uh tried to do a family guy playstation 2 let's play turns out my disc is just way too old and way too scratched uh to do that so i might have to try to pick up a copy like you know at like a local vintage game store hopefully for not too much money or anything like that but that is something i do want to try to do on the channel at some point but yeah that just didn't work out um and then i tried to boot up my old xp pc <clears throat> sorry about that guys and uh and do the other rescue heroes game that didn't work either for some reason it was just having a ton of errors so this is the third video i've tried to record today so i'm a little annoyed um and i also want to say that part of the reason why i haven't been doing let's plays is because i'm sure as you just heard and you can hear my voice i'm still a little nasally and garbled and my throat is trash um I'm not sick anymore. I haven't been sick for like a week now. Uh, it's just these yearly uh, allergy-induced asthma that I get over the summer. Um, it's just kicking the shit out of me right now. So I apologize if I have to clear my throat. If I have to cough, I'll try to do that away from the microphone. Uh, so it's not just in your guy's ear uh, the entire time. But yeah, that's why I haven't really been doing Let's Play content. Just been really dealing with a lot of crap uh, from... Uh, well, between being sick and now this, uh, just not been in the best uh, place to like talk a lot. Um, you're going to hear me clear my throat quite a bit throughout this video, so I apologize in advance for that. Um, but yeah, so with all that being said, this is a game from my childhood. Um, <clears throat> if any of you guys ever watched Busy Town, you'll know what's up. Um, and yeah. So I do want to do another Let's Play. There will be one coming soon, I promise. Just a lot of stuff going on between being sick. Um, trying to plan for some of the summer events we have coming up. I have the streams coming up. Um, and if I'm not over this allergy crap uh, by the time the stream starts, then your boy is going to have to go visit the clinic again, which is going to be fantastic. But anyway, all that aside, let's ignore all of that. Mr. I'm annoyed today because of all the crap I've been through. Let's just play some Busy Town. Um, this is just a collection of mini games, essentially, based on some of the characters in Busy Town. So um, we'll just start up top. And um, we'll just go through. Because we'll, we'll end with this game at the bottom, which is actually my favorite as a kid. Um, so let's see what Mr. Fixit's got going on. Also, I apologize if this is like scuffed to shit. Um, visually, obviously very old game, very not old PC. There's just a lot of stuff that goes into trying to record one of these videos, and sometimes it just doesn't work, so. Hello, Mr. Fixit. Hi, Loli. I'm building my newest invention. When it's finished, it'll make great <coughs> breakfast drinks. Oh, will it make hot chocolate? Absolutely. Oh god, Mr. Fix-It. Your frames! Your frame rate! Oh god! Am I supposed to be using keyboard for this? No. I think the mouse. There we go. Let's get going. Wow. Loading screen just for that, huh, Mr. Fix-It? Alright. Whatever you say, buddy. Okay, so this has to go here. Yeah, so this mini game we're just repairing his machine, I guess. For fuck's sake, Mr. Fix It. Can we Oh, I guess you can put either one here, huh? Um
Okay, yeah, no. The engineer in me, which there isn't an engineer in me, because I'm not an engineer, um, is telling me that that probably won't work, so... Empty mug, right? <clears throat> this is going to work. Pour the milk. This is going to work. And then we click over here, I think, to move the. Oh, fuck's sake! <laughs> oh man. I've been defeated by a game for four-year-olds. Right, okay. Um, pour the milk. This is going to work. Move it over this way. And then we pour the chocolate in. God, I actually really want chocolate milk now. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hot cho well, kind of hot chocolate. It's just chocolate milk, but... Mr. Fix-It the Goat. Uh, let me know down in the comment section, actually, if you guys enjoy this, like, style of uh, video. Um, you know, if you like these older computer game videos. Um, uh, there's a couple that I kind of want to try. Like, hold on, let me uh, gather my thoughts here before I keep speaking like an idiot. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, there's... Like, older computer games that I do want to check out um, from my childhood. Specifically, a lot of the, um, like, this, those old games you'd get in cereal boxes. Um, like, the, the Cocoa Puffs one. I remember I played the hell out of the Cocoa Puffs uh, computer game that came in the cereal box once you, like, got enough tops or whatever. Um, I remember it used to piss my dad off because... It would actually crash his old computer a lot, and it used to annoy the hell out of him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I would love to like see if I can find a copy of those old discs online. There was like also a computer game we used to play in school, and the only game I remember playing a ton of on it was Moncala. And you would like play through the ages. So you'd start out playing Moncala against like. Um, like a caveman, and then you would go to like ancient Rome or whatever. Um, so Should I think we this take is. Somebody off the seesaw. The seesaw is balanced. The numbers are the same. Yeah, this is just like a math game, but if you put like her over Can here. You balance the seesaw. I'm it... number one. That you Can are, you buddy. Balance the seesaw? Oh my god. Now it's nine and what? How do I. Oh, math. Should we take somebody off the seesaw? Yeah, get off the seesaw. You all suck. Oh, oh, I don't know how to do this. Okay, that's enough of this game. This game sucks. I don't like math. Is he coming over to like slap me like Will Smith? No, okay, he's just Goodbye, leaving. Everybody. We'll be back later. I'm actually genuinely curious about how many people remember like Busy Town. It definitely wasn't as popular as like some of the other stuff. Um How to play Building the House. Definitely wasn't as popular as some of the other like kids' cartoons. Um of its era, I don't think. I, I'm just kind of speaking on my ass here. I could be totally wrong, but I don't remember seeing like as much about Busy Town as like Stacking, other things. Tapping, and moving, a fine house. Are you OSHA certified, Mr. Pig? 
I don't remember any of these characters' names, by the way. Hi, Huckle and Molly. I'm building a house for the Stitches family. Hi. Want some help? Huckle and yes. Rolly. I'll go get some bricks for the chimney and jingles for the roof. We should not... Oh, I hope somebody just didn't fall upstairs. That sounded quite loud. Um, we should not be building a house. We are not First, board certified. Up and down to build the chimney. Chimney. Can we go... Whoa! Oh. <clears throat> whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh okay, yeah, the hit detection on this is gonna be so good I can already tell. Oh, I can just click and drag. Okay. Let's put shingles on the roof. Now, let's get shingles. Okay. Huckle's a wizard, I guess. Can we just click and drag this? Yeah, okay. Oh no, I messed up. Oh, his house is gonna look awful. Ow! God, really, dude? I guess if you go to... Oh, Huckle. Huckle, relax! Okay. <laughs> Dude, you are the worst... Like, you're just letting literal children just, like, build a roof. Like, is there no oversight in this town? Who's the mayor? Next, why are the electricity... Just, like, zaps himself. Uh... Oh, I was gonna say. I was like, what is happening? This house doesn't have a bedroom in it. Now you can carry these things into the house. Let's start with the water heater. Ah, yeah, just make a literal child just, you know, carry a whole water heater into the house. Oops. Uh oh. Huckle, well, you that's not right. It's right. Put it down, kid. That is heavy. You're killing me. A gigantic faucet. Here's the cold water faucet. It's a long piece of pipe. Yeah, thanks, pig. You know, just just building an entire house by myself, essentially. <clears throat> no big deal, am I right, folks? It is next. I'm going to sue you. Oops. I also love how Huck just kind of like floats like some kind of ancient wizard or something. The sink goes upstairs. Yeah, there's also no bathroom, I just realized. Like, everything... There's no bedroom, no bathroom. Like, this is gonna be the shittiest house ever. This is just an extended studio where your entire basement is just taken up with, like, your utilities. So, we're putting a washing machine in, but, like, no kitchen, no, like, bathroom. Are you ready for the washing machine? This poor kid is gonna have, like, the worst scoliosis on the planet after lifting all this crap. His back is gonna look like that freaking Stussy logo that we all used to draw. Is this a dryer? The furnace weighs a lot! A furnace! Uh, an actual furnace, okay. Huck, you should sue this guy. And this homeowner should sue this guy for letting this kid install this crap. Here's the smoke pipe, Huckle. That's how you know this game is old, dude. You have to vent your furnace, like... <clears throat> evidently, directly into your chimney. Is that air vent? I hope this air 
duct fits? Yeah. Well, I hope you have enough money saved up in your savings account because I'm taking you for all you're worth. A couch on a forklift, you know. This green chair is great for reading. I I don't think you're forklift certified pig, if I'm being honest. I think it's all a sham. Nice yellow Dr. Seuss lamp. Put the lamp next to the chair. How about you fucking help? That's one of my favorite parts about going back and playing these old games, just like being ridiculously over the top angry at like a children's game. Like this this guy's just not doing anything, bro. That's not safe. You can't put a TV on a forklift. Look at that old tube TV, by the way. Carry the television carefully, Huckle. It's fragile. Yeah, yeah, no problem, boss. I got this. I'll be very careful with your TV. Look how careful I'm being. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. All right, now pay me. Give me money. Ah, yeah, the perfect house. A studio apartment with a random Let's sink. See if everything works. No kitchen, no bedroom. What's on TV? Is that skiing? Here's an interesting program. Why did that sound like that guy was recording that from like the other zip code? All right, yeah, we're done with this. We're done with Mr. Pig, I think. You're welcome. What a beautiful house. Yeah, there's definitely not so enough room for all four of you in this house. Be so happy here. Goodbye. Come visit anytime. I just realized all their utilities are on the main floor. I thought that was like the basement. Alright. Bruno's Deli, what do you got? We make some sandwiches. Hey, I'm working in the sandwich shop and you're working in Bruno Deli. You know what I'm saying? Take care of the deli while I'm gone? Ah, uh, so yeah. <clears throat> Why not? Thank you so much. I definitely don't have a food serving license or any sort of training, but yeah, okay. Customer, 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 cut. Is that my mom? I think that's my mom. Hello. May I help you? Hello, Huckle. The bread looks good. She just wants bread. Strawberries, hamburger, bread. All you want is just straight bread. Nothing on it. Also, I don't think that's my mom. I think that's like Huck's friend or something. I think that's all there is to this game, by the way. Huck, 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 huck. That's my sister, I think. Hi there, Huckle. I'm hungry for a pretzel. Coming right up. Ah, uh, okay. Hot dog. It is the 4th of July, after all. 
At least when I'm recording this. I don't know if this is going up on the 4th, but... Yogurt. Strawberry. Hamburger. Bread. Soup. Cake. Where the hell is the pretzel? A salad. That's just the salad all over again. Hey, popcorn. USA popcorn. Dog, where is this goddamn pretzel? Are you joshing me? That's a croissant, dude. Those aren't cookies. I don't know what that is. Just a big hunk of cheese. Jesus Christ, there we go, finally. Next person that orders a pretzel is getting socked in the head. Yeah, that's all there is to this game. I just want to wait until somebody orders a uh, a drink. We'll get the drink right. And then I don't remember what happens if you get it wrong. I kind of want to see. You fuck up. Somebody's like, hey, can I get a hamburger? And you're like, yep, here's your salad, dickhead. Oh, what are you going to want? Carrots? <laughs> okay, well. Let's, get, let's give this guy the wrong thing. You know what? Nah, you look like you want some cheese. Oh, he doesn't, like, run away angry? Okay. Oh, God. We gotta go through all this stuff. A cheese sandwich. Not even a cheeseburger. Straight up cheese sandwich. You know what? You're gonna get yogurt and you're gonna like it. Oh, my God. There's the bread. And I don't remember which order the... Friggin' ice cream was in. Oh, I should just give you carrots just on principle. Oh my god, there's so many options. Where is the ice cream, dude? There it is. Also, what kind of deli serves all of this stuff? Somebody better order a drink or I'm going to lose it. No. You're getting... Green drink, alright? That's all you're getting here. Can I overfill it? Nice. Milk? Is this lemonade? Alright, yeah, we're out of here. We're not we're done being deli workers. <laughs> Thank you, Huckle and Lowly. You're welcome. Yeah, your my your unpaid intern is leaving now. Thank you. I think this is just music. I don't think there's anything to this. If I remember correctly. Which I probably don't. Yeah. This just plays the music, I think. This animation is way too long. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're out of here. The delivery truck. Captain Salty. The wind. The wind. Okay. The delivery truck. There's a lot of content in this game. There's a lot more content in this game than the Rescue Heroes game, that's for sure. Granted, it's like, again, a game for children, but...
How the hell does this kid have a driver's license? This is highly illegal. Let's drive the delivery truck. Please take the phone booth to the newsstand. You got it. Are we getting arrested? Safe driving is very important, you know. Fuck the law. <laughs> Is very important, you know. I like how he's just like aggressively Midwestern. There you go, buddy. Here's your phone booth, I guess. The drugstore. All right. I'm getting arrested again? Are you kidding me? Better slow down now. Try again. Please take the picture frame to the drugstore. You got it, Chief. Skirt. Oh, hello. There we go. Just what I need. Thanks. You got it, Chief. Bam. <laughs> this guy's like, bro, are you kidding? Kidding me? You've got to keep your eye on the road. Please right. deliver the cake to the ice cream parlor. That's enough delivery truck. I used to play this game for hours because this was one of my favorite ones, uh, delivery truck. But we don't need to spend all day here. It's the same thing over and over again. The gas station. I don't remember playing this one really, like, almost at all. So I don't remember what this one's all about. To help you to your destination, make sure you stop at the gas station. Wow, what a catchy tune that was. Can I accidentally fill somebody's car with diesel? That'd be really funny. Up. Oh. oh, hell yeah. This dude's cool as hell. Hi. May I help you? Please give me six gallons of super. Six gallons of super. Oh, you have to hold it. Okay. A little bit more, there we go. <laughs> Almost had it on the first try. Thank you. Bye. All right. Time to light a match next to this gas station. Can I actually like use that fire extinguisher up there? I'm very curious. I'm gonna try overfilling it. I wonder if you could use the. That's all for now. Damn it! I guess you can't overfill. I want to use that fire extinguisher, man. Thanks for coming by. Look how garbage that fire drawing is, by the way. Up by the fire extinguisher. All right, been a while. There we go. I was gonna say, loading for a hot minute here. Oh, your tire's flat. Give me the fire extinguisher. Damn it. Yeah, that's how that works. You just, you know, slap that bitch on there. <laughs> I 
Also, I've never been in a school bus where the bus driver gets gas and air in his tires, like, in the middle of bringing us to school, just for the record. Up. Oh, did we crash? Did the game finally crash? Uh, it might have. It very well might have. That might have been too much for the game to handle, putting air in tires. Uh. Okay, give me one sec. I'm gonna get us back to the overworld. And we're not gonna do gas and oil anymore because evidently the game cannot handle it. Oh, all I had to do was hit escape. Okay, never mind. The wind! I thought I was gonna have to, like, like exit the entire game. That's a fucking tornado. Why are we so casual about a tornado? I am the wind. I blow clouds in the sky. Shake trees hey, and carry my head. Mr. Frumble's Come back Haha. Your head. Wrecked. Idiot. Get out of here, birds. Get out of here, Huck. Okay. I get it. Animation takes a long time. Can I go to the ocean? This way to the ocean. Whoosh. I want to go to the ocean. Oh, there we go. My boat floats so well. The wind is blowing water into my boat. That's it. You're going down with the ship, jackass. Okay. I can make the airplane turn around. I, like personified the wind. Whoa, I better hold on to my kite. Yeah, okay, I get it. <laughs> That's enough wind. Let's go, Huckle. Okay, Loli. Loli. All right, see you later, personified wind, you weirdo. Captain Salty. Salty. What do you got for me, Captain Salty? Captain Salty, they're off the port bow. Man the guns. Dun dun da da dun dun da da dun dun da da da. No, not that. Okay. Oh fuck! It's another one of these games. Okay, I've joined the Navy, evidently. A rudder. We're not doing this whole thing, but uh, we'll do a couple here. We got a prop. Hey guys, can you handle this? Can you handle all of this action where it tells you exactly where to put the piece? Our luggage holds clothes. That's not... That's not like an integral part of the ship's infrastructure is the luggage. This container holds fuel that is a gigantic engine. fuel tank. Our ship okay. Yeah, I get it. I get it. We're out of here. See you later, Captain Salty. The fire station. Oh my! I noticed there's no police station. I guess there's no crime in Busy Town. Well, there was the cop that kept stopping us while we were crashing into things, but we can't play as the cop. You have one single fireman in this whole town, huh? Budget cuts, huh? Hi, Smokey. 
Zeke, and can I help you get the fire engine ready? That would be great, Loli. The fire hose squirts water on the fire. It does indeed. The life the net. Life net <clears throat> saves people. Yeah, when they have to jump out of burning buildings, you know? This siren makes a really loud sound. Is there a mini game with this after we put this together? The I think there is. Light gets everyone's attention. There, all done. Guess I'll go upstairs. Time to go to bed. I could use a rest. You only took one shoe? Okay, I was going to say. Uh. Oh, dear, dear Lord. Getting my raincoat. Put your hat on. Yeah, okay, we get it. Pick up the pace, dude. Somebody's house is on fire. And here is my helmet. Yeah, okay, great. Down the pole. Get in the truck, dude. We gotta go. Hurry up! So Get out of the way, pig. I don't care. Dude, Huck, your house is on fire. Did you? Ah! Where the hell did this other guy come from? We'll save the people first. Quick, jump into this. Jump, jump. We'll catch you. I think in real life those things were like incredibly dangerous and people died constantly from them. Way to stick the landing, dude. Jump, jump. We'll catch you. Just like he yanks it out like uh What's her face from Charlie Brown? And she yanks it out from underneath Charlie Brown when he's going to catch the uh kick the football. Hurry, connect the hoses. Why can't I remember her name? Hold on. This is gonna bother me actually. Lucy? Is it Lucy? Yeah, Lucy. That, that, geez, I couldn't remember her name. When Lucy kicks, uh, takes the, uh, the ball away from Charlie Brown. All right, there you go. Good job. The fire is out. All right, now time for the best game in this entire disc. Fuck yeah, dude! Love me some Dr. Diane. The best minigame of all time. Doctor, I got a problem. I fell off the swing and hit my bottom. I'm hurting everywhere. I don't know where to begin. My cheek hurts, my eye, my head is spinning. I put a bandage on it. What? <laughs> Dr. Diab, I've got a problem with my knee. I love that. Put a bandit on it. What? Uh oh, what have we here? Yikes. So I think the reason I loved this game so much is because you can just load this guy up with band-aids and also just the absurdity of like everything. Every problem he has is a bandage problem. That's much better. Now 
my toe is hurting. Okay, here's a bandage. <laughs> Just everything can be solved with a bandage. That's better. I got a problem with my cheek. It needs a bandage. Even as a kid, I was like, this is terrible medical advice. Just double bandage right on his face. <laughs> How is that supposed to help? Uh, that's better. Well, there's another owie on my wrist. I'll put a bandage on it. Okay, here's a bandage. We're just gonna keep loading this guy up. Good, that helps. Dr. Diane, my hand hurts. It needs a bandage. I don't think you're medically certified, Dr. Diane. There. Now you'll be okay. My tail hurts too. Okay, here's a bandage. Like we're I I might Ooh, cut but like now I'm just gonna so keep like loading this guy up because it's hilarious to me. Let me guess. Hmm. Uh -oh. oh, wow. You're not actually going to put a bandage on it? I'll put a bandage on okay, I was going to say, we're getting a little crazy here. You'll feel much That's better. so inappropriate. Something's wrong with my ear. Okay, here's a bandage. How are we going to get a bandage on this guy's ear? Yeah, I should have guessed. Dog, what have you been doing that you are this messed up? It needs a bandage. That Look at this. Oh, <laughs> Can you that imagine? Ouch. <laughs> My eyebrow. Your eyebrow. Are you actually kidding me with this? I'll put a bandage on. There's no way you just said ouch my eyebrow. Oh. It's in his eye. Good, that helps, Doctor Diane. Now my elbow is hurting. Can you imagine you see somebody walk out of the doctor's office like this? You would be so confused, wouldn't you? There, now you'll be okay. Oh, thank you. It also hurts on my head. I'm gonna hit you with a hammer. Put a bandage on it. That like, help. I would be very Dr. concerned Diane, if somebody looked. On my neck. If somebody walked out of the hospital looking like this. Okay, here's a Please tell me you're going to use the gauze and just wrap it around his neck. No, okay, we're just going to straight up there, put a bandaid on his neck. Okay. Wait, wait, what? Ooh, that's much better. Dr. Diane, it also hurts on my ankle. I'll put a bandage. I'm actually genuinely curious if there's an end point to this. That will help you. Oh, thank you. Ow, my foot feels bad. Okay, here's a bandage. Okay. Yep, you there we go. Let me guess, you're good. Snap your nose. Ow. My finger stings. It needs a bandage. Oh, my lord, Dr. Diane. There, now you'll be okay. Okay, I'm gonna hard cut to whenever this game That's ends better. because I'm genuinely Ouch. curious now. So, uh, I'm not gonna subject you guys to this, but give me a little bit and I'll, uh, I'll, uh, that I'll cut. You. That's better. My shoulder doesn't feel too good. This has to be like some kind of scam or something. Like this is. This Holy shit! Ouch. It needs a bandage. Yeah, after you just murdered this guy. Yeah, definitely. You'll be there. Now you'll be okay. 
now my mouth hurts. Okay. Dog, there is absolutely no way we're putting a band-aid on this guy's mouth. Uh-oh. No more complaints. I hope you feel better. Bye now. What the fuck? How to play? Okay. Well, after that, quite frankly, a little disturbing display. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this Let's Play. Um, like I said, let me know in the comment section if you guys are interested in more like older game Let's Plays like this. Uh, definitely, if you guys are interested, I'll see if I can try to get a copy of the, uh, the Cocoa Puffs computer game for sure. Um... And yeah, next actual, like, Let's Play, I'm not really sure what it's gonna be yet. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure things out. Um, still trying to make sure that, like, I don't abuse my voice too much while I'm still trying to get over this these allergies. Um, so, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys again next time.